So I thought I'd do a little bit of an update. I'm working on the release version of DTL at the moment. Um, I've just finished the skeleton conversion. We now have a 100% Unreal Engine compatible skeleton. When I say 100% compatible, I mean the joint orients match and all of the joints point exactly down the x-axis, no deviation whatsoever. So, let's give it a little test run in Unreal Engine. I will do a third person project. So here we are in Unreal Engine. Now there is just one thing that we need to do for compatibility because our skeletons are different sizes. So to account for that, we open up the SK Mannequin Skeleton. We switch on the retargeting options and these basically say what happens to the joint translation when an animation is playing and we want it to use what the skeleton says. However, some of these joints need to be controlled by animation which includes all of our IK joints and of course the pelvis because all the movement is on the pelvis. And that's it. We now have set ourselves up to import the character. You see it's automatically selected the um, Unreal Engine skeleton. We will update the reference pose. Now this only updates the skeleton for the mesh we're importing. It doesn't do anything to this skeleton here. And obviously the reference pose is at T0. We will create a physics asset and we will leave the materials out of it for now. This is just a skeleton demo. There we go, that's imported. So let's do a little test run first with the regular mannequin. Everything's fine. To swap out, we simply open up the third person character select skeleton mesh and we put Genesis in there instead. Save and we're good to go. That's it. No more retargeting, no messing around, it just works. Right out the box. I'm not going to lie, this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It's taken me quite a lot longer than I thought it would. But I'm there, we got it done.